White water and staying low. So this is the key part with being able to get them to do the right technique for this particular movement pattern. So I ask for white water. I ask for the water to turn white. They want to work hard. They need to go till they see that water around them you turn can see white. There's quite a lot of white water, both with the short range movement and the large rebounding action. And that's key for knowing how hard people are working. One of the cool things about being in water is it's very visual. So white water can't be created by somebody not performing very hard exercise. There are, it's only created when someone's dragging through water. One more thing I just want to mention about the short range cross country ski is notice I'm not rebounding. So when I teach people to do it, I'm like, don't, don't, don't bounce. There's no bouncing. It's you're, you're staying low, you're keeping your head still as if you've got a book on top of your head because you want them to focus on their movement through the water, then rebounding. So what you want to avoid is this. Bouncy, bouncy. I call this bouncy, bouncy. Yep, but now they're on their toes. Quads are uh, hanging That will come from me being on my toes and not being instructed that I need to stay down low and drive with my heels. So that's what happens. Now the hands are still pushing forward to raking back, but I can't get any intensity because I'm just not moving quickly enough. Heels down, stay low, drive with the arms. See how the hips are moving up and down? So not bouncing. It's a great exercise. <laughs>